Welcome to today's live stream. I'm super excited to welcome you here today. Before we get started and get into the really for real live, this is obviously a pre-recorded video where I can tell you a couple things and then we can get started. So uh, honestly what I'm doing is buying myself time to turn the camera on and make sure that everything sounds good. But uh, while we do that, while we wait for myself, let's go ahead and comment below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Maybe let's start with your name and where you're watching from. And then also I'd love to hear about uh, maybe the latest project you're working on or your favorite software. So if you can post a link below, go ahead and post a link to your portfolio. We'd love to check it out and see what you're up to. And maybe even let us know what your favorite uh, software is or maybe your favorite subject. Do you like web design or print design or making t-shirts or logos or branding? I don't know. Go ahead and comment below and let us know. We'd love to check it out. And then also, if you'd love to see what I'm up to, you can check out my work at DerekMitchell.com. You can see some YouTube videos at YouTube.com slash Derek Mitchell. And then also live streaming at Behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage. So you can check me out there. And then did I say Instagram? I don't know if I said Instagram yet or not. Instagram.com slash D Mitchell Design. So hopefully there's links and buttons and stuff here right there. Uh, anyway, all right, guys, we're about to dive into some really cool stuff. Uh, feel free to comment in the thread. And I'd love to, again, see what you're up to. And I'll try and answer your questions as we get going. But let's go ahead and dive in. Today's video is sponsored by the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you're looking at becoming a graphic designer and you want to learn more about Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, creating real world projects that clients would actually pay you for, for things like logos, business cards, letterhead, and much more. Check out the link below for more information and a deep discount to get started today. One last thing I was going to mention too, because I don't know how much time I'm going to need to turn all this on. Maybe it's ready to go and you know, the real me, the live me can just, just cut this off and we can get to it. But in case I need a little bit more time, let me just tell you about myself. So my name is Derek Mitchell. We've been over that. Also, uh, I live in Montana, in Kalispell, Montana, actually, which is just outside of Glacier National Park. And I've got four daughters and a wife, and we have tons of fun doing outdoor things like riding bicycles. We float the river on our paddle boards. That's a ton of fun. I love to downhill mountain bike. That's a ton of fun. When it snows for like nine months out of the year, we like to go snowboarding and skiing. So uh, I feel like I'm rambling. So at any point, Derek, just go ahead and just you know, let's do this. Let's get live. Let's start teaching. What is going on, Miles? My dog just came to say hello. Hi, Miles. Let's say hello to the people. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. This is Miles, my poodle. We're working on his mohawk. Oh, thanks. Kisses. Oh. All right, what's up everybody? Welcome to the stream. All right, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to my new office setup. Really stoked about it. Still kind of getting things dialed in a little bit, playing around with things, having fun. Um, today's stream, and let me know if the music is good. And also what's up Mitchell in the chat, Mitchell Lawrence, one of the original founding members of the graphic design bootcamp vault. Um, check it out if you want to go to my website at DerekMitchell.com. You can see that. But basically, uh, super cool stuff. You have access to all my courses and uh, access to me on Slack and a bunch of other cool things. Mitchell, thanks for jumping in today. Good to see you, man. Glad to see that you're doing well. Let's see. Yeah, we were talking So in the, in the intro. What's up, Rob? Thanks for jumping in. Glad to see you're here. Yeah, glad to be streaming again. I need to get my setup dialed in a little bit better because I've got the camera there now. Actually, you know what we can do because I'm being all fancy about it. If I move this to here and I go like this, there we go. Um, now I can look at the camera kind of and also see the chat. <clears throat> so anyway, we were talking about how in the intro video I talked about how I have four daughters, which is true. But I also have a son now who is five-ish months old. Um, 
Wow, got real quiet with the music on. Anyway, yeah, I definitely need to make a new intro video for sure. What's up, Rob? What's up, Mitchell? Uh, what's up? Is it Delia from Austria? Oh, Austria. I almost said Australia. Uh, great to see you. Thanks for jumping into the chat today. What's up, Zach? Yeah, uh, Zach says my portfolio, his portfolio needs a major update. I agree uh, with that sentiment on my own stuff because I feel like my portfolio is always out of date. And I feel like the coolest stuff that I want to show, uh, I can't show because the clients aren't ready for the world to see it yet. So it's a constant um, battle trying to keep your portfolio up to date. What's up, uh, Claudio from Italy? What's up from Uzbekistan? I don't know how to say your name. I don't even know how to begin to say that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, awesome. Thanks for being here, guys. Thanks for being here today. What we're going to do, uh, going to experiment with here. I don't know how to say this name, but thanks for jumping in. What's up, Emmanuel? You guys are awesome. I love that you're here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Rob says it's been a minute working on the fall beard already. It's only been like a week and a half. It just comes in really fast. Uh, maybe two weeks. I don't know. I lose track of time. So, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, Tamur. Did I say that right, Tamur? I hope I said your name right. So what we're gonna do today, um, kind of a sneak peek. Uh, Inktober is coming right up around the corner. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this before, um, but basically it's super cool. Go check it out, inktober.com. I'm in no way affiliated with this whatsoever. I just think it's awesome. And uh, it's the Inktober challenge. So what I, what I think we're gonna do today, we'll see how we do. Uh, I've got everything set up and ready to go so we can do some drawing on the iPad. And I figured what I would do is borrow one of the prompts from a couple years prior. If you scroll down, you can see what the original, actually, wait a minute, let's see. Rules and prompts right here, click on this link. Guys, definitely check this out when you get a minute. Um, so here's the rules, make a drawing in ink. You can do a pencil under drawing if you want. So I wonder if an iPad counts, does it count? What if I use just ink, like a, you know, air quote, ink marker, pen thing. Uh, let's see, hashtag it with Inktober and then repeat, post it, hashtag repeat. There we go. So these are the official 2021 prompts and, uh, yeah super cool stuff so looking back at some of the older ones here from previous years got some different things in here i might grab one of these and go nuts with it also i used one of these if you go to my website and go over to tutorials scroll down just a little bit you see this adobe fresco review and quick sketch tutorial i actually used one of jake parker's sketches the founder of the inktober challenge and i went through and i made like an adobe fresco review slash how-to video so that's free you can check it out on my website if you want to and just see the process of how i did this um I actually brought in somebody i brought in his sketch of this octopus holding the pen here and um colored it. Sorry, words are hard guys. Um, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to do. So, uh, if you're not feeling quite up to the sketch challenge, maybe you do like a coloring challenge. It'd be a lot of fun while you're here. If you haven't already join the newsletter, uh, just drop in your name and your email and I'll send you some free goodies. If you want to check that out. Yeah. Mitchell says, I've heard of this and look into it for the first time this October. Definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to commit to a daily drawing or not but I think we'll, we'll have some fun with it. Hey, real quick question, guys. Is the music too loud? It's pretty hot in my ears, but usually the replay, it's not quite as loud. Let me know. All right, uh, let's come back into this. So, all right. Do I want to pick one off the current list? I feel like that's kind of cheating. I don't know what I would do for Crystal anyway. Let's scroll down. Let's do... Hmm... All of a sudden, I got really nervous to draw in front of you guys. I don't know why. <laughs> Mitchell says, sounds are all good. Thank you. Uh, Rob says, excited to watch this, but may have to jump off stream. Promise my wife I'd take her out to lunch. You definitely need to do that. Uh, oh, you have a day off. That's awesome. 
Well, enjoy your day off, Rob. Thanks for popping in and saying hello and uh, goodbye whenever you need to bounce out and go have lunch with your wife. That's awesome. My wife just texted me and asked if we could do the same thing. And I was like, ah, I just started the stream. So I'm gonna have to pass on that. Um, What else did she say? Okay, she's texting me while we're, while I'm live streaming. I could have her call in and we could just do like a podcast style. That'd be kind of cool. Should we do it real quick? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll give her a heads up before I call her. Okay. All right, you're on the stream, just FYI. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, everybody. Trying it out, trying out the Bluetooth connection thing with the soundboard. Um, We're doing an Inktober challenge, and I said you might be stopping by, and we were going to do lunch, but then then I went live instead. Oh, well, bummer. I wish I was stopping by. I know. What's the new challenge? Well, uh, it doesn't start till the 1st of October. But the first day is prompt Inktober Inktober for October. Yeah. 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 It's going to be fun. So um, I need like a graphic for you when we're on the phone together. That's what I should do. Somehow. Somehow. Making a cute little avatar, a little little emoji. Yeah, exactly. So uh, guys, let me know in the chat. Does this, can you hear her okay? Should I turn her up a little bit? I probably should. I'll turn her up a little bit more. All right, say We're something. like ported through so many different, like through my phone, through the, through the car, car play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I love it. All right. So we're going to get started. Uh, I need, I need a prompt. I was going to go through like an old one and pick something out, but I'm. Something says, that you can make? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to pick one. We're just going to go for it. Are you going to swing by the office or not? Uh, I was, and then I realized my phone was going to die, and I left my purse at home, so now I'm going home. Oh, okay. Are you coming back later? Uh, no, probably not. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to jump into it. All right. And I'll see you later. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. All right. That was fun. Hey. Sorry for the loud music. All right. That was fun. Thanks for hanging out and listening to my wife and I on the phone. That's kind of weird. <laughs> All right. So let's let's get to it here. I'm going to pick a prompt. Oh, shoot. This did it last time, too, when I waited too long. The iPad got off. And I had to turn it off and then on again. I don't know why it's doing that to me. All right, it'll take just a second. So while that's turning back on, um, hey guys. All right, so while it's back on, we are going to pick a word, and I don't know what to pick, guys. Mitchell, what should I do? <laughs> yeah, technology. Who would work with it, right? All right, so um, I need to pick a word, and I I'm scared of commitment here a word that I have to draw live in front of everybody because it's all scary. All right. Hopefully this works now. Yes. All right. We're in. Let's do some things. Let's do the things. All right. So we need to pick a word to sketch. Maybe I'll just start doing something random I don't know oh here is the uh the inktober octopus that I did last time let's I'll bet if we go to share up here publish and export and then 
X, let's see, time lapse export. Why is my pencil not working? Technology. What's up, Daniel? Hungry because lunch. I get it. 100%. Mitchell says, I would go with how you feel right now and go with a word that matches as an idea. I love it. So then Daniel says, hungry because lunch. Hungry. All right, guys. I'm gonna play this time lapse for you real quick so you can see what I did. So last time I just brought in a sketch, a photo, brought the opacity down, and then I traced over the top of it. I really enjoy this. Like I, I love drawing, but I have a hard time, what's the word? I don't know, committing to a style. And coloring to me is so therapeutic that like sometimes I just like to color. So this, this, this was a fun project to do. I did all the shading and um, fun stuff like that. So are you guys going to do Inktober? What do you think? I should get uh, Ryan Selvey to animate for Inktober. That's what he should do. All right. Oh, uh, good. Oh, what's up? We've got comments over on Facebook. What's up, Shay? I'm doing well. Thanks for jumping in. See you over on Facebook. What's up, Mohammed? Working on a logo. It's a restaurant logo. That's awesome. Very cool. All right. Let's go back. So what we're doing today, if you just jumped in, we're kind of playing around with some Inktober stuff. I just, I really just want to color on top of this. I don't really want to create my own drawing, but we're going to. I'm in Fresco right now. I was going to do it in Illustrator, but I think Fresco will be a lot more fun. See, this is the kind of stuff I like to do. Um, like these penguins. I made these forever ago and then uh, traced them out and colorized them. That's uh, taking too long. Forget it. So we're going to make a new document. I'm just going to do a, whenever I make a new document, I typically start with just whatever the current screen size is on my iPad, just because it, I don't know, it just seems like a good place to start. <clears throat> so I'm in Fresco, like I said, got a new document started here. I need to pick a word. Um, we were kind of playing around with these Inktober words from previous previous years, uh, trying to find a word that speaks to us. Although once we do the Inktober challenge, we're gonna have to just do every word for that day. Hmm. Okay, I saw this word overgrown. I think I'm gonna go with that. All right. So let's, let's just go for it. Nope. All right, so our word. Why, why? There it is. I let my kids play with my iPad all the time. And every now and then when I get it back, things are changed and settings are all different, but that's all good. So I'm just going to grab a regular vector brush for the only purpose of writing down the word. Oh, that's what we're going to do. So overgrown, I don't know. It just stuck out to me. So we're going to, we're going to play with that. So I'll go ahead and delete this layer, make a new one. Why'd my iPad go away? Oh, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Let me see if I've got a different cable. Or we could just go with this view for a while. I guess it's fine. Keep the stream going.
Yeah, I see that, Shay. Thank you. Um, let me let me check my bag real quick. Maybe I can find. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna try this different cable. Maybe that'll fix it. Yes, okay. So it was the cable, flaking out, crappy cable. All right, we're back, we're in business, let's do this. So when Inktober actually does start, I do have these um, graphic illustration markers. So they're like really fine point, nice, nice for inking and stuff. I'll probably use these. And then I bought some colored versions too. So I don't know if I use, I don't know if you're supposed to use color on this challenge or if it's just, um, just black inks. I don't know, but I'm going to go with black ink for now. Cause that's kind of what I'm seeing everybody else do. So, Hey, thanks for the follow Zach. I appreciate that. Zach over on Behance. What's up Kane? All right, let's do this. Sweet. We're back. Okay. So the other thing too, is if this was a true ink drawing, it wouldn't necessarily, I had my, my pen set to like, whatever words are hard today. Okay. Done. I'm going to add a new layer. So whenever I can, that's one thing I love about working in digital mediums is that I can add as many layers as I want to, and I can erase things. So if you work, if I were to work everything on this one layer, if I do anything that I don't like, then it's more difficult to delete or change. Um, let me change this song real quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and just make a new layer. And uh, let's get something a little more appropriate for Inktober. On a side note, if you guys haven't tried out um, Fresco, which is what we're using, the live brushes in here are incredible. Just so you know. I think I'm going to keep this vector so that way I can edit these paths later if I wanted to. And uh, let's go ahead and get our settings dialed in. I really enjoy the pressure sensitivity where if I push harder, the lines get thicker or thinner if I do it lightly. Um, for the sake of the medium and kind of falling in line with Inktober, I'm gonna go to pressure dynamics. I'm gonna turn it way down in fact, I might even just turn it off. Okay. Velocity dynamics. Uh, let's turn those off as well. I mean, I guess it feels more real to have velocity on there. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Now I'm all paranoid. I keep checking the broadcast to make sure that my iPad's still on. Okay. Um, smoothing. We'll drop this down a little bit. Okay. Overgrown. So I think of like... Let's just start doodling. Let's just see what happens.
this is super therapeutic for me. Like I could just do this all day, just draw. But I'm so used to like teaching tutorials and stuff. I feel like I have to like constantly talk. <laughs> um, you know what I need to do? I'm gonna look up. <clears throat> I wanna get some ideas on. Vines. Get some ideas for this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool too. See? How oh, we could do like roots and stuff instead of whatever flourishes I was gonna do. I like that. Okay. That'll be our motivation. Let's see. Um, So I'm going to pull this off to this other screen here. I talked about starting with layers in case you don't like it. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, get this out of the way. So for now, I'm just going to turn this layer off. Come back to this overgrown text layer. Okay. 
I get super focused, and then I forget to check the chat. What's up, guys? Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> wow. I hope I wasn't, like, breathing into the microphone too much, because that'd be awkward. So if you're just joining us, uh, thank you, for one. And uh, we are working on, by we, I mean me, uh, I'm just kind of playing around right now. I'm in Adobe Fresco on the iPad. I love this app. It's so much fun. And we're, again, me. I don't know why I say we. I guess because you're hanging out with us. We're all hanging out in the chat. If you are in the chat, jump in the chat. Say hello. I'm checking it out on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Behance. Most of the crew is over on Behance right now having a good time. Um, Mitchell, Noah, Rob, Zach, Delia. Daniel, Claudio, Timur, did I already say Rob, Kane, Zach, I already said Zach. Lots of us hanging out there. So come say hi if you haven't already. And uh, we are playing around with the prompt from Inktober. So this is not this year's prompt. This is from a previous year and the word was overgrown. So you don't have to put the word in here um, but I did mostly just to kind of remember what the heck we're doing because sometimes when I get on stream, I, I forget things because there's a lot going on. So anyway, so I'm making a sketch and it's overgrown. So we're going to make it look like some tree roots or something. I don't know. Oh, Mitchell says it's calm and interesting just to watch. Thank you so much. Thank you. I always feel weird, like I said, like I, like I need to talk and be like, here's exactly what I'm doing. Maybe I just need to calm down. And go like Bob Ross on us here. Happy, happy trees that are overgrown. So one thing I will point out, the way that I'm getting these roots, the points to go kind of pointy, right uh, is because I'm using a vector brush and down here under the settings see I can't turn it off guys I just I have to keep showing you guys things but uh, down here under the taper mode I have it set to length so depending on the length of the stroke um, it's gonna taper it across the length of the stroke okay and then the beginning taper is set to zero so when I start drawing it's gonna be thick uh, the thickest um, if I try it here on the where I try this brush you see it starts thick and then depending on how long I go with it at the very end it finally tapers the last 72% right not the full 100% is how I have this set to do what it's doing now 
<laughs> yeah. Thanks, Delia. Delia says it's calming. And Mitchell says, I know you're used to your tutorial style. I am. I, I, I have a very difficult time. Dude, my poor kids. I can't turn it off even at home. Like my, my daughter, I have a, um, I have lots of kids. I have five kids. But my eight-year-old is learning guitar. And I, I play guitar and I play drums. We have lots of instruments at our house. We have a piano and all kinds of fun things. And so the kids are kind of learning about music right now. In fact, they've got music lessons tonight. And um, why did I bring this up? Oh, because like I, I can't not, like even my wife, like she's like, I don't need to know how to do this. I'm like, well, just in case. And she's like, I'm, I'm not. Like, it's just not going to happen. She's like, if you die, like this is this part of whatever, you know, you're taking care. It just isn't going to happen. And I was like, oh, Okay. But sometimes she's super gracious because she knows like I have, I just have to, I have to just be like, here's how you do this thing. And, and here's whatever. So special shout out to my amazing wife who, if you were here from the beginning was actually jumped in on the phone call because I thought that would be cool. We're actually setting up to do a podcast here in the new office space. So that'll be coming out. We, we've already done it. Like we already have a podcast. If you search for Derek and Jenna, we have like a bunch of episodes already published from like, I don't know, two or three years ago. And then life happened and we had a couple more kids and then the podcast just kind of got forgotten. I'm digging how this is looking so far. It's kind of random. It, I mean, it's not anything super special. It's more so just kind of fun to draw squiggly lines. So there's that. What's up, Ven Venkatesh? I hope I said your name. <laughs> yeah, Rob says podcast revival. Are you on lunch yet? You're supposed to go to lunch with your wife, Rob. Don't want to miss that. Rob was supposed to have a lunch date with his wife, but he's hanging out with us in the chat. Better not miss that lunch date, man. I don't want to be responsible for anything if if I'm the reason that you didn't make it out on time so all right <clears throat> I think once we're done with this and I could I could literally spend the day playing on this But maybe we'll bring it into like Photoshop and do some stuff with it. That could be cool. I have ideas. Remind me. Remind me if we get to the end of this and I haven't done it yet. I have ideas in Photoshop. I notice my style's kind of changing as I get from one side to the other. So I'm going to kind of do a few of the same on this side, just to kind of hopefully help balance things out. Also, I think I can save this as a favorite. Maybe I'm thinking of a different there it is you can tap the star but I don't know if the settings are going to save hopefully they do uh, because I want to be able to switch back to that original kind of more sketchy line that I had just to add some more interest to this I mean not that we need more squiggles look at that that's kind of cool. Zoomed in. Some potential there for something fun. Oh, no. I'm the background audience. That's... I mean, I'm equally flattered and also... Uh, I don't, yeah, we're not going to go there. I'm just going to stop talking.
I will say that drawing, oops, with an Apple pencil <clears throat> on the glass of the, of the surface here is so smooth. It's one of my favorite things. I wish the Wacom tablets had the same feel. So I have my Apple Pencil set to toggle. Well, it's just, I think it's default. It might not be default now that I think about it. Um, but when you double clip, double double tap on the pencil, it changes between a brush and an eraser. And I hold it, there's a flat spot on the new version of the Apple Pencil. And instead of holding it like on your thumb, like you're kind of supposed to, I, I roll it so it's the flat spots against my finger. And then that way I can just double tap with my finger and it switches easily. And if I go to my settings up here in the gear icon, and come down to oh, app settings. And let's see, input. Double tap on the Apple Pencil is set to switch to eraser, but you can also show the color picker, switch to the last brush. Lots of things here. Zoom to fit, system settings, no action, whatever. But I have it set to switch to the eraser. Uh, anyway, hope that helps you. Rob, you got a you got an iPad recently, didn't you? Sorry, I know you're you're on a hot lunch date, so I don't want to bug you too much, but how's that going? That's not bad. That's, if I'm being honest, better than I expected to do live in front of an audience. All right, so, I mean, I could leave it like that. I could push it further and I'm gonna make a new layer first because I like how this is right now. Also, in Fresco, um, it just says looking good, boss. Thank you, sir. Um, if I go to the share button on the top right of my iPad, go down to quick export. No, publish and export. Time lapse export. I can hit play. And we can watch it fast. If you're just Diving in here, if you're just joining us, we're working on sketches for Inktober. Check out inktober.com. Uh, I'm in no way affiliated with that. I just think it's cool. So uh, having some fun making a sketch. 
uh, the prompt was overgrown. This is from a couple years ago. The new ones start October 1st. Check it out. I'm hit done. There we go. Um, I had an idea. Oh, we'll come back to that. All right, new layer. Let's I'm trying to decide if I want to go. The, um, what time is it? How long have we been live? The other issue I run into, it's already been 47 minutes. Wow. Is if I go live too long, the audio starts to get weird. Um, so we're going to, we're going to, we're going to stop here. I can always come back to this later. Let's go ahead and hit the little share button. And this time I'm going to hit send to illustrator. And it's going to send this to the creative cloud library on my desktop. So it's thinking about it right now. Document sent. All right. Let's see if it's ready for us. Oh, whoa. I didn't even open illustrator. Did it crash or did it do it itself? So it's opening now. Down there. <laughs> Illustrator is opening. And it's still thinking about it. So big old spinning beach ball. I thought I had it open. So I'm super curious. I don't I don't know. I've never well, not never. I've done this before, but it's been a long time. So maybe a new feature of this is that uh, when you actually export from the iPad, perhaps because I'm connected through a cable for the stream, maybe it triggered Illustrator to open up. But for some reason, Illustrator's taking its sweet time. <sighs> Are you serious right now? This is so cool. I didn't know it did this. Rob says, yes, I've been poking around in Fresco a bit. As for the hot date, she'll be canning tomatoes and I'll be headed to the farm shortly. You have a farm? That's amazing. I love that. I grew up kind of not, I didn't really, I grew up in the city, but my grandparents uh, lived kind of out in the country. So I grew up like shooting BB guns and driving motorcycles and learning how to drive farm trucks. I was 12 years old actually, when I first learned how to drive on the farm with a stick shift truck. Uh, that wasn't, that was my uncle that turned me loose, actually. He's like, yeah, if you can figure it out, you can drive it. So I did. <laughs> All right, let's see. So Photoshop import, why is Photoshop trying to import this? All right, well, let's see, show preview. I'm not, so I'm not sure. So all I did was hit the share button off of Fresco. I don't know if this is a fluke or if this is a new feature, but for some reason, Photoshop is trying to import it, but also Illustrator opened up. So I don't know if I somehow bumped something or if it triggered. Anyway, uh, I'm going to convert layers to objects. So what it should do is if we, if we go back to this document, it should bring these in. Uh, these different layers. I'm going to actually, well, it's too late now. I already shared it, but I, I could have d deleted these layers to clean things up, but it should make each one of these a separate layer. Uh, let's just see what happens. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now we're back in Illustrator. So I, I'm, I don't know if this is a new feature that they're ironing out but I like it. So now we're in Illustrator. Did Photoshop open anything? No, that's another project I'm working on. All right, uh, let's see. Cool. So we can see that there's different colors as I hover over this. So if I come over here to my layers, I've got the overgrown sketch and I've got the text as separate layers. That's kind of cool. All right, so now I can work with them individually if I want to. All right, <clears throat> so here's what we can do from here. Well, there's a lot of things you can do from here. We're in, we're in Illustrator on the desktop, so if I wanted to come in here and change colors, you know, notice everything in here is a fill. So I could very quickly change the colors on these if I wanted to, to anything else, which is nice, it's super editable. Also, all these anchor points are also editable 
So I'm trying to get a good color that shows contrast on the screen. That might work. Okay. Uh, so if I get my direct, direct selection tool, which is the letter A, I could come in here and like manipulate any one of these shapes to whatever I want it to be. I could grab his point and say, hey, you know, I actually want this to be a little bit longer and kind of like that or not undo whatever um, super fun so we came <coughs> excuse me uh, just to kind of reiterate how we got here and how to make it work for you let's step back a couple um, the only reason it works like this that it's editable in illustrator is because if we jump into our ipad when i was drawing over here on the side you'll see it's blue right now on the, on the top left of the screen that's the vector brush. So it keeps everything vector. The live brush tool, which is equally actually probably the coolest thing of all of this, these watercolors and oils, it, it wouldn't let you edit these in Illustrator the way I'm doing this. Same thing with the bitmap or I guess the pixel brushes. A pixel brush is also gonna be flat. You're not gonna be able to edit the vector. So when I started this drawing, I chose to use the vector brush to get started. So then when I shared, hit the top right button, share to uh, send to Illustrator, that's how we were able to get to where we are now, where this is in Illustrator on a desktop. Uh, is it Sifat Hosin? It says, looking good, thank you. Uh, I think I butchered your name and I apologize. Oh, camera is not focused. There it is. All right, now we're back. Um, so what we're gonna do now, kind of showed you how we can edit these in Illustrator but we can also highlight all of these and hit command C to copy everything on this canvas. So we're gonna jump into uh, Photoshop real quick and I'm gonna close a couple things cause I don't wanna save that, don't need that. Don't need that. I'm gonna go to, there we go. All right, so we're in Photoshop now and I'm gonna make a new document and I don't really know what we're gonna do with this. Let's make a poster, cause why not? So I'm gonna click up here on print and let's just do a 11 by 17 tabloid setting. It's vertical 11 by 17 inch, 300 resolution. We'll leave it as RGB for now while we design. Click create. If you guys wanna know more about why those settings matter and what's, what's going on there, um, I have a course called the Graphic Design Bootcamp. If you go to DerekMitchell.com, you can check that out. Uh, it's also featured on Skillshare and it's also on Udemy. So there's three different places or from my website directly. Uh, but I show like exactly why those settings matter and how to use them. So check it out, DerekMitchell.com. All right, uh, so look, we've got this poster thing. Let's make something. I'm gonna move my iPad out of the way because Everything's messy. All right. <clears throat> so. Fill the background. I'm gonna hit Command V to paste. So that object from Illustrator is still on our clipboard. And so I just hit Command V to paste that vector art into Photoshop now. We're in Photoshop. And I'm gonna leave it as a smart object. I could flatten it to pixels. I could make it a path or a shape layer. A shape layer might be interesting, but it'd be a mess because there's lots of anchor points. All right, Rob, see you later. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, let's go ahead and click okay. Boom, now we've got this overgrown thing and I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit, bring it down. All right, what do we want to do? Let's add some texture to it. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's make something up. I'm trying to think of the best way to go with this.
Oh man. All of a sudden my body's letting me know it's time for lunch. I'm getting hungry. All right. So originally I was inspired by this image. I think that's cool. Um, all right, so this this is a vector. Let's let's kind of jump into this a little bit. So this is a vector image from Illustrator. Because it's a smart object, I can double click on the thumbnail, which you can't see because my big head's in the way. But I just double clicked on the thumbnail, and it opens back up. And you'll notice up top it says vector smart object, but over here we have the original that we had started. And if I jump over here, this is the the instance from within. Sorry, my office floor was shaking and I was trying to see if my wife had walked in. Uh, that sounds so bad. That's not what I meant. Um, no, like, you know, you can feel somebody walking across the floor. I, whatever. I'm, that's not the point. Um, <laughs> vector smart object. Uh, I can always go back and edit this, right? And if I make a change in here, for example, let's say I make just this piece pink and I save this vector smart object, the original drawing that we did doesn't get changed this vector smart object does and if i jump back into photoshop you'll notice that part of it is pink now so that's what's cool about working with smart objects i'll hide my head so you can see this time if i click on the title it's just going to rename the layer i don't want to do that i'm going to double click on the thumbnail itself to get this smart object back open change the color back save it close it go to photoshop boom now it's dark again all right. Um, let's do a color overlay effect. This is cool. George over on YouTube, I'm working on a random drawing, uh, sketch, whatever you want to call it. We started in an iPad and uh, it's, it's based on the Inktober. Let's pull this up real quick. So Inktober challenge, inktober.com. And it's not the first yet. It's not too late for you guys to join if you want to join. Sorry, I'm still not sure about that. Okay. That was... I think we're good. Thanks. It's my watch trying to jump in on the conversation here. All right. Um, anyway, George over on YouTube, we, we are working on the Inktober, um, sketches. So we started off with our iPad here, made this overgrown thing, uh, prompted by the website where we have all these different words for each different day. Let's go to the rules and prompts up here. I scrolled down and one of the words on this list was overgrown uh, from the official 2019 list right here, number 14, overgrown. And I saw it, so I just decided to make something with it. That's what we're doing. Uh, so once I made the sketch, I exported it from Fresco, Adobe Fresco on the iPad into Adobe Illustrator and it came in like this. Then I copied it and pasted it into Photoshop to make kind of a poster because it just seemed like something fun to do. So that's where we're at. Now you're all caught up. And uh, 
Yeah. Now I'm just kind of playing around. Also, my stomach is like growling. I'm so hungry all of a sudden. Jordan says, got it. Yep, here we are. Now I'm just making something. Like, I don't even know. This is an 11 by 17 poster. I'm just, quite honestly, I'm just kind of screwing around. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So I'm going to grab this image, command shift four to take a screenshot. I would usually license my artwork, but I'm just kind of showing you a technique. Before I let go, I'm going to hit the control key on my keyboard. So I copy to my clipboard. I'll paste it in here, scale it up because it's black and white. I'm going to hit command I to invert the colors. Then I'm going to come over here to my layers, double click on the layer to bring up my layer style. This layer, I'm gonna blend if it's white. So as I scrub this left, all the white goes away. I can hold on the Option key to split that slider and I can make it a much smoother fade. And now I have a tree. Look at that. And I want it to kind of look, you know, this way. So I'm kind of happy with it. I don't know if I wanna do something like this. I don't know. Come over to the smart object. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the layer style. Come to the tree. Let's rename it while we're at it. Right click and paste the layer style. Well, that broke everything. Well, why did it break everything? Let's look at this. Okay, so it filled my whole layer with green. Let me bring my layers panel out here to play a little bit so we can see things better. Okay, so what's going on? Oh, you know what else I could do? Let's make these gigantic. There we go. Now those are easier to see on stream. Okay, so this tree layer, you'll notice the background is still there. It's still a square image. So just because we applied this, turn off this effect. Actually, let's just step back a couple. So just because we modified the blend mode, if I double click in here again, see right here, it's blending this layer if it's the lighter tones, right? But all that pixel data is still there. There's still white, like it's still fully opaque. So what we need to do now before we do anything else, we've got, you can tell this little tiny double square overlapping icon that means there's a there's a there's some advanced blending options already on here so what we have to do before we do anything else is I'm gonna make a new layer it's transparent I'm gonna select both of these layers by holding on command and clicking so now there's two layers selected and the shortcut is command E to merge selected but if you come up here to layer down to merge layers it's gonna merge these two and when it does that you notice the advanced blend mode goes away. If I double click on here, this doesn't show up as blending anything. And now it literally is just these pixels on this layer. So now I can manipulate these. I can right click. I can paste that layer style we still copied from this text here. And that way it's gonna add the blend mode, it's gonna add the fill, and it's gonna add the color overlay that we did so it all matches. Does that make sense? Hope it makes sense. All right. <clears throat> Mitchell says, cheers for streaming, Derek. I have to go see you on the next one. All right, thank you so much, Mitchell. Thanks for jumping in, we'll see you later. I'm about done here pretty soon myself because I'm starving and I have other work that has to be done today. All right, so let's just kind of blend this in though. Let's make it, let's make it look right. So I'm gonna command click on the layer below. 
I'm going to use that to mask this tree layer. I'm going to hit option and click on the mask. And that way, the two blend modes don't interact with each other. If I unlink this layer, I can click on the tree. Now I can move it around anywhere I want. If I didn't do that, as I move the tree, you'll notice the blend modes interact with each other. Um, so George, I'm, uh, is it George or is it Jorge? I am so sorry. I hate it when I get people's names wrong. It's really important to me, but I don't always know how to say words right and stuff. Um, asks, where else am I streaming this? So currently this is on YouTube, my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Derek Mitchell. We're over on behance.net slash Mitchell's Garage, uh, or if you just go to the live streaming tab at the main page, it should be up there featured. Uh, the replays will be up in both places. I also have a Facebook group that you guys can check out. Um, streaming there as well. And I think that's pretty much all those are all the places we're at right now so uh, but the the replays will be up if you guys want to go back and either skip things or watch how I did something and check it out all right uh, I'm gonna come up here and reset my workspace there we go okay let's see we're so close why what is happening my computer's really upset right now so I use the shortcut, keyboard shortcut, space bar, what the heck, it's to get my hand tool, but my computer is losing its mind. <laughs> okay, so your name's in Spanish, but it doesn't really bother you. Okay, so it is, is, is it Jorge? Did I say that right? Would it be more of an eight, like a Jorge? I took three years of Spanish. You'd think I'd be better, but it was high school Spanish. So I don't know if that really counts. Okay. Um, wrong. Hey, I got it right. Awesome. That makes me so happy. Thank you. Um, all right. So let's, uh, let's, 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 let's wrap this up. Oh, why is it being... There we go. Okay. It was upset because I didn't have a layer selected. All right. So to wrap this up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the mask layer. I'm actually going to group this. Command G to throw this tree into a group so I can add a separate mask on top of it. Get the brush tool. Nice soft round brush. Let's change the size a little bit. Something nice and small. And I wish I had my Wacom tablet, but it's at the house. So this is what we have to work with. It's a little bit too soft of an edge. Turn up the hardness a little bit. Mm. cool I mean it's something fun to look at let me save this I did this whole thing without saving Ugh, I hate it when I do that it's dangerous throw it on my desktop let's call this overgrown overgrown inktober poster boom save it <laughs> you're welcome that's funny yeah i mean there's there's a lot more we could do to this we could have a lot of fun with it um but unfortunately i have to go here pretty soon so uh, we saved our file we had some fun started in fresco on the ipad had fun here creating this overgrown graphic 
and then we bounced over into Photoshop and then we bounced into, well, actually we bounced into Illustrator so we could copy all of these, copied this, bounced over into Photoshop. I love using as many apps as possible. I love bouncing around in the different uh, software and using what they're really good at to make something cool. So anyway, made this poster. Tons of fun. If you guys haven't already, uh, would love it if you guys could uh, hit that thumbs up or the like button if you can wherever you're watching this. Maybe subscribe if you haven't already or follow me if you're on Behance so you get notified when I go live. Uh, if you guys want to see behind the scenes content, I've got some cool behind the scenes stuff. Um, so when I set up this office space, I actually, where's my phone? It's buried. I went around with my phone and took a video of it. So um, you guys can check it out, uh, how I set all this stuff up. It's the only way to see that currently right now is my subscribers on Behance. So on Behance, if you're watching this down below somewhere, I think there's a, there's a link to subscribe. Uh, you can check out the, the members only content and then you can join my Marco Polo channels where I can send you guys videos directly. So that's how I did that. If you guys want to see like the behind the scenes of how, like where the cameras are all set up and how I did all this kind of stuff, uh, that's all in there. So you also get access to files. I've got some free courses in there as well. So check that out. Um, what else? I know I'm forgetting some things, but I just want to say thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was fun. Um, I enjoyed it. It was it was a lot of fun. So I'm going to go have some food and I'll be streaming again. I don't know when uh, exactly. I don't have a stream schedule right now. We're still kind of getting settled with the new office space and I've got five kids at home. So there's just a lot of moving parts. So whenever I get a minute to go live, I go live. And uh, one of these days, maybe I'll make a schedule. But until then, it's just, it's just, it's just random. So, all right, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to bounce. I think. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have an awesome day and I'll catch you guys later.